Before I continue with this video, this will contain spoilers to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Last Ronin comics. You have been warned. Hit the intro! The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Last Ronin is one of the darkest stories in TMNT history. We witness the deaths of some of our favorite and most beloved characters in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. With only two main characters surviving in this story, with one of them heartbroken and questioning living, and the other who's lost a couple of limbs. Also keep in mind I will be going into detail as to what occurs, and some of it is a bit brutal. So, let's get into this video and story. In this distant future timeline, the Foot Clan has taken a hold of the city, and only one Ninja Turtle remains to fight against them. The creators and writers have set up this story to where only one turtle winds up as the final hero, with only one left standing, what happened to the other turtles and allies? Well, I'm gonna tell you in this video. Before their world fell apart, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles thought that they might have a chance for peace with the Foot Clan when the opportunity between the two arose. While Splinter and Donatello traveled to Japan to attend a meeting with their longtime enemies, the others were left behind and attacked by Baxter Stockman's army of cybernetic ninja soldiers. April O'Neil and Michelangelo witnessed Leonardo and Casey Jones heroically holding the impossible line against Stockman's mechanized army, buying the others much needed time to escape, but at the cost of their lives. Before that, Raphael went off on a solo mission without telling anybody. This is after a specific event that happens to Splinter, leaving him in critical condition. So let's start off with Raphael's portion of the story and what happens to him. When Karai sent her Foot Clan assassins against the Turtles, Splinter was left on the verge of death. Raphael responded by heading out on his own to the people responsible for harming their master. He wanted revenge and blood, so he took off without saying a word to anybody, not even his brothers. He raced to where the Foot Clan and Karai would be in a rage. Once he reached their hideout, he didn't make any introduction. Raphael had already begun attacking dozens of gathered ninja in silence, leaving a trail of bloody corpses of Karai's army. When the full might of the foot was unleashed upon him, Raphael still did not fall, even after having his body riddled with arrows, slashes, and stabs. Raphael was injured as a bunch of arrows were lodged in the back of his shell. It was only when Karai joined in the fight herself that Raphael's life was ended after putting his opponent into a lifelong coma. Karai and Raphael engaged in a brutal battle as they both stabbed and slashed at each other, cutting one another in the process. As the battle gets bloody, Raphael grabs Karai and suplexes her off a dock. As they both head down and splash into the water, Karai pulls out a kunai, stabbing Raphael in the throat as he stabs Karai as well. We then see our beloved hero's life leave his eyes, and we then see a bloody sigh in the water as Raphael and Karai's bodies sink to the bottom. That, to me, that's probably the most heartbreaking out of all the turtles death. So now we are going to head back to Leonardo, Mikey, Casey Jones, and April, and find out what happened to these four. So the story flashes back to a mission where there is peace attempts with the Foot Clan, the attempted truce doesn't last long as the group is attacked by Baxter, Stockman, who tries to capture Fugitoid. Casey and Leo are swarmed by Stockman's robot minions as they tell Mikey and April to escape so Donatello and Splinter can be told about the Foot Clan's betrayal. After Fugitoid tells Stockman he'll self-destruct before allowing him to take him, the mad scientist decides to self-destruct his own robots, and as he does, it kills Leonardo and Casey Jones. Further flashbacks reveal April survived the attack, but lost her husband, friends, 
home and an arm and a leg, all while she learned she was pregnant. Meanwhile, Michelangelo emerged from the rubble and immediately went to Japan as he stowed away on a plane hoping to reach Donnie and Master Splinter to tell them of the Foot Clan's betrayal. Leonardo and Casey Jones ultimately sacrificed themselves to ensure April and Michelangelo could escape and relay the message about the Foot Clan's attack to Master Splinter. Just like with Raphael's death, the pair's explosive demise is incredibly tragic. In the end, the Foot Clan couldn't be trusted and it ultimately cost the Turtles greatly. So last year, we are going to head over to Japan and see what happened with Donatello and Splinter. And this one will hurt just like Raphael's story. Michelangelo finally finishes the tale of what happened in Japan. First, Mikey reveals he linked up with the clan Hamato and Master Shinichiro, who tells him about a battle he just missed. Then the story flashes back to a meeting between Splinter and Donatello with the Foot Clan. Hiroto, Shredder's grandson and Karai's son, also apparently knew of the deaths of Raphael and Leonardo in New York, and he planned to personally slay Splinter to finish off the mutant family for good. So the peace talks to end the never-ending war turn out to be a trap as Hiroto sends his massive army to kill Splinter and Donatello. Despite being gravely outnumbered, Splinter and Donnie mowed down Hiroto's forces, but the Foot Clan keeps sending in more and more reinforcements. Splinter refuses to retreat despite the Clan Hamato's warnings. Archers fire hundreds of arrows at Donatello and Splinter, and they try their best to shield one another. As Donnie shields Splinter, it gives Splinter the opportunity to throw a sword at Hiroto, trying to kill him, but he does not end up killing him in the end. However, the attacks are too much and both heroes are killed in battle. Michelangelo then tragically reveals he was too late to save them, which led Mikey to disappear into the mountains. Ultimately, Splinter and Donatello went down fighting to the very last breath. It was an epic ending for the heroes, as he nearly took down the Foot Clan despite being severely outnumbered. Now it's up to Michelangelo to take down Hiroto and avenge Splinter and his fallen family. In the bleak, desolate future of the last Ronin, it is Michelangelo who was the last Ninja Turtle standing. It's really the last turtle you would have expected to be the lone survivor. You would have thought maybe it would have been Leonardo or, or Raphael's rage would have always been his demise so you would have thought it would have been leo i knew it was mike mikey once they announced the comic book after discovering what happened to donatello and splinter in japan the last of the heroes understandably succumbed to feelings of loneliness and depression despite his desire for his life to end michelangelo mutated further in his old age making the elder hero in a half shell even more powerful he then eventually struck out on his own to end the threat of the Foot Clan once and for all. So that is the video of how all the other turtles and their allies did perish. It's such a, a dark, sad story because you would never expect your heroes to, to, to die, you know? These are the Ninja Turtles. They've been with us since 1984 and this story is just heartbreaking hearing what happened to them and how it really did break Mikey, but it also gives him the power to fight back and avenge his family, which, if you want to find that out, you gotta read the comics. But anyway, that is the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think of the last Ronin story or how these turtles and allies did perish in the story. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, I will catch you on the next episode of Daredevil 19. And I will also see you guys later.